everyone, I'm here today with another book review for you and today I'm going to review Bertie the Blitz Dog by Libby Parker. And I received this book from the publisher Very Net Galley in return for an honest review and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. This book really just touched my heart in all the right places. It is a historical fiction based upon the Blitz but from the perspective of a dog. And that is just such a unique idea for me. No one ever really thinks about animals when there is war going on. It's something that you you just don't think about. You're just thinking about all the human aspects of it. You don't think about how it will have affected animals. So this was such an intriguing perspective for me. And his story is so heartbreaking at times because he, at the beginning of the book, lives with an elderly lady and she sadly passes away while he is in the bedroom. And this is just the blitz is about to start and it leaves him in such an unsure place. You get a passage where he is at his owner's funeral and he is scared because dogs can pick up on things anyway. Let's not, let's not be silly about this. Dogs understand things like if your owner's gone, they, they just know that they're not coming back. And it's really heartbreaking. This dog is scared and he doesn't know where he's going to live anymore because he knows his owner is gone. And he sees a chance to just bolt and like a typical dog, he just runs for it. And he ends up living with a couple of different families. Again, he just gets affected by war and different things happen. And some of these homes might have ended up making really good homes, but for one reason or another, they didn't work out. And he's on the streets and... That was just such a sad time for me. This dog on the streets. I, I just love dogs so much. This poor dog was homeless. And he was going from place to place trying to find somewhere to live. And in the end, he actually ends up living with a new family. And he fits in so well there. Although even then, life is not easy because at the time, food was severely rationed. And it was actually frowned upon to feed your animals. People were encouraged to get rid of their pets because food was precious and all the food should be going to the humans. And this was something that I didn't even actually know about the war. I didn't really, as I said, I didn't really think about animals during the Blitz. And so I was really heartbroken to hear that lots of people got rid of their pets. Like, I couldn't do that. And indeed this family, even though they'd not had Bertie for very long, took Bertie in and they through hell or high water were finding ways to feed this dog and he became a real member of the family and he went off with different members of the family and did different things to help out with the war effort whether it was just going on patrol or whether it was keeping people company while they were at home while other people were out or whether it was going to work with the other people from the family it was just so imaginative a way to show what different people in the war were going through and it obviously raises a few issues because it does teach you about what it was like in those times, not just for different humans, but also for animals and just what everyone was going through in London at that time. And it is a really heartbreaking book at times. You hear about bombings and people being killed and like, you never really know whether Bertie's going to be safe. You don't understand whether there's going to be a happy ending at the all this and Believe you me, I cannot handle unhappy endings when it comes to dog stories. And so this was just such an emotional roller coaster of a book for me to read. And I started caring about his family they had taken, in, taken him into. And I was like, oh my God, is everyone going to be okay? Is everyone going to survive? And I just, I have not got enough praise for this book. Bertie becomes such a loyal dog to that family, as many dogs are. Dogs are just such loyal creatures. And this just made for such just a wonderful read. I was hooked from the very first page. The pacing is brilliant. You could give this to a younger person and they wouldn't struggle with it at all as it is targeted more towards, um, wouldn't necessarily a middle grade sort of age, but it it is suitable for, you know, sort of older children. And it's an educational read for them too. And I just, I thought that this was such an imaginative way to do it. And I would love to see more sort of books in this sort of, done in this sort of way. If you know of any books where you get the perspective of a dog, where you also learn about some sort of historical event, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear about them. And again, this is the first book I've ever picked up by this author, but I'm definitely keeping my eyes open for more. Thank you so much for watching this review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me just there if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.